Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, today's review I'd like to do is, uh, it's called Colville. Or Colville, I'm not sure which one is, uh, is accurate. But I uh, saw this one in the store, guys. I've only seen it in one store around here. Uh, I've actually seen it for, uh, they've been carrying it for the past several months. But, uh, yeah, I thought about buying it for a while and they ran out. Got some more in there and kind of hesitated again on buying it because I didn't know much about it. Uh, ran out again and then uh, decided the next time they get it in, I'm going to get a bottle. So uh, we got it back in, but uh, sadly they uh, they had raised the price about five bucks. It went from $19.99 to $24.99. So, um, so from 20 bucks to 25 bucks. I was like, okay, you know, I better give it a shot. You know, just try it out. Um, every once in a while, I like to get a whiskey that I don't really know a whole lot about. You know, you're, you have your uh, Wild Turkeys and uh, Jim Beam and um, Jack Daniels. I mean, some of the whiskeys I like best, you know, Elijah Craig and uh, some others like that, you know, I mean, they're, I mean, they get a lot of, uh, Elijah Craig, not quite as much as some of the others I mentioned, but, um, yeah, they're well-known whiskeys. I mean, all those are pretty well-known whiskeys among, uh, uh, whiskey drinkers. So, um, just wanted to get one that, uh, I wasn't too familiar with. Maybe it's more, uh, well-known, uh, back toward Kentucky, uh, back in the South. Um, and, uh, you know, I like to get those kinds of whiskeys. You know, I like to yeah, I don't know if uh, they're popular out there or not, but they had they made their way out here, so thought uh, might be good enough to try out. Uh, this one's an interesting whiskey, uh, interesting bourbon, because uh, this one was uh, distilled in Kentucky, in Bourbon County, Kentucky, yet uh, it was uh, bottled in Florida by a company called uh, Florida Caribbean Distillers in uh, Auburndale, Florida. So um, anyway... Uh, kind of a cool story with this whiskey, guys. Uh, I like it. You guys know I like a good story. Um, this one's not necessarily uh, about the history of this whiskey because this whiskey's not that old. This is only a, I think they first uh, came out in like 2014. But uh, just uh, general history, I thought it was pretty pretty darn cool. It says uh, built in 1877. The Colville Bridge is the only remaining covered bridge in Bourbon County, Kentucky, and one of the last 13 covered bridges in existence in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Surrounded for decades by the mystique of a ghostly presence within its walls, uh, the bridge remains a must destination for ghost hunters and bourbon enthusiasts alike. So, I don't know about you guys, but you know whether you believe in uh, ghosts and paranormal and all that, you know... Uh, I, I just like a good ghost story. You know, who knows uh, what's what's out there, what's not out there, but uh, I think we can all appreciate a good story, you know, sitting around a campfire and, and uh, you know, somebody tells a, a good uh, scary story. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. So I'd like to drink this whiskey one of these nights and uh, have a fire out back and, you know, uh, it's kind of a cool thing to do. Maybe I'm just a nerd, but uh, that's, that's my kind of uh, good night right there. Uh, some of the stories that go along with this, you know, it says a ghostly presence within its walls, this uh, covered bridge, as you can see on the bottle there. I'm not sure if you can see that well, but it uh, shows a little picture of a covered bridge that was built in uh, 1877. And I've heard stories about, you know, a, a, a bride who... Uh, drowned on her wedding night, fell off the bridge and drowned on her wedding night. I've uh, heard about a couple who was having um, a dispute and drove their car off the uh, bridge and, and drowned. So uh, who knows, guys? I mean, it's uh, just kind of a cool uh, cool story to go along with the whiskey here. And uh, thought I'd give it a shot. And it's, uh, as we'll see in a minute, it's a pretty good whiskey here. So, take a look at the color. It's uh, by the way, guys. It's uh, this is a small batch um, bourbon here. Small batch, you know, hundred barrels or less. Uh, don't know the exact number. 
aged for five years. So five-year-old whiskey, not too bad. Uh, you look at the color, and it's a pretty light color. You know, it's a, a gold or maybe a, a light amber color there. Uh, not a whole lot of barrel char. Uh, five years, you know, it's not a really young whiskey, but not an old one either. So take a, a smell here. On the nose, guys, you get a you get a good bit of uh, corn sweetness. Definitely some uh, like toffee, uh, caramel type flavors going on there, or uh, scents. A little bit of oak and uh, and barrel, you know, the barrel char there. Um, just uh, some good spice, good spice on the nose too. Let's take a sip. And on the palate, guys, you do get that good, uh, you know, corn sweetness. But it's not too sweet, which is a good thing. A little bit of toffee in there. Um, you get a good amount of uh, rye spice in this one, guys. I definitely get a lot of rye. Uh, some uh, good barrel char. Um, that oakiness, you know. little bit of honey in there you know it's a good balanced whiskey guys it's it's nothing fancy you know I mean it's you know 25 bucks for this uh, bottle here maybe cheaper a little bit more wherever you are but it's a uh, it's a solid whiskey you know it's a uh, it's got kind of your classic bourbon profile you know you got that uh, as I said a little bit of that caramel or toffee in there and some good oak some good corn sweetness Definitely some good spice. I don't know what the mash bill is on this one, but uh, I would venture to say that the rye content is probably fairly high. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's about it for this review, guys. Um, I'll be having a few more reviews uh, in the near future. Got a few uh, more whiskeys in the in the cabinet that we haven't talked about yet. Um, got one from uh, oh, actually a couple from uh, Jack Daniels. That we'll talk about soon. Um, got one that's kind of a kind of a trendy whiskey, but haven't talked about it yet. And um, you know, it's a uh, it's one that I'll just tell you right now. It's a flavored whiskey, and it's one that uh, is is pretty popular. I'm not big on flavored whiskeys, but this one, you know, it's it's fun to sip on sometimes. So uh, anyway, guys, if you have any suggestions or anything. Um, Please, uh, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, definitely subscribe and uh, tell your friends. You know, I like drinking whiskey, talking to you guys about whiskey, and uh, seeing all your feedback. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, hope you all have a good week. Cheers. Went through that whole review and didn't give it a rating. I know some of you probably want a rating, so um, <laughs> I'll do that before I go, guys. Sorry about that. This bottle here, it's a solid whiskey. It's not a, a fantastic whiskey, but it's a solid whiskey. So let's give this uh, an 80 out of uh, 80 out of 100 or uh, say a B minus. Like, it's just a little, uh, nothing wrong with it at all. There's nothing harsh. Uh, just a little... Uh, kind of one-dimensional you know it's just your um you know just your everyday uh average whiskey you know just uh got your regular bourbon profile so uh again nothing wrong with that but uh, uh that's my take and uh until next time cheers guys